From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is The Night Beat. Good evening, I'm Danielle Schenk with your headlines for Wednesday, November 20th. A Nebraska women's basketball star and the 2023 Big Ten Freshman of the Year will miss the rest of the season. Natalie Potts announces she has a torn ACL. This after collapsing during the Huskers 85 to 48 win over North Alabama on Tuesday. It's a big loss for the 21st ranked Huskers. Potts was averaging 14 points through five games and shooting 68% from the floor. Coach Amy Williams will likely address the injury at her press conference tomorrow morning. In other news, a fire at a vacant village inn has left the building in ruins with ongoing demolition and firefighting efforts. The Lincoln Fire Department arrived at 29th and O around 8.30 a.m. to find the roof fully engulfed in flames and heavy smoke. Although no one was inside, a nearby gas station was evacuated for safety. Due to building collapse, search efforts were limited, so Nebraska Task Force One dogs were brought in for more thorough inspection. Fire Chief Dave Engler expects hot spots to persist for some time, so there is no need to call 911 as crews are monitoring the ruins. The Oto County Sheriff is investigating a crash that killed 18-year-old Harrell Jackson Jr. from Omaha. The incident occurred early yesterday near Nebraska City, where Jackson, wearing dark clothing, was walking near Highway 2 and Highway 75. As deputies were on their way, Jackson was hit by a car. Despite life-saving measures, he was pronounced dead at the scene. Tony Pierce, the Lincoln man accused of driving distracted and killing Soresco police officer Ross Bartlett, has been officially charged with felony motor vehicle homicide. Pierce appeared in court today, facing up to three years in prison if convicted. The crash occurred in April on Highway 77 south of Soresco when Pierce hit Officer Bartlett, who was seated in his cruiser after pulling over a driver. Bartlett was flown to a Lincoln hospital where he later died. Lastly, a Lincoln woman is sharing her recovery journey from substance abuse, which included near-death experiences. Tasha Brummagen says she started using drugs at 14 years old, leading to two overdoses. She says her trek to stay sober isn't linear, but finding a support group has made all the difference. I grew up in a, a house that really didn't believe in like mental health. So like um, at a young age, you know, even seeking support or um, wanting to go see a therapist or wanting to go find support for my mental health. It was just non-existent. I was told to be quiet and that I was going to outgrow whatever feelings that I was having. Now she works as a training coordinator at Wellbeing Initiatives here in Lincoln. Rounding out your night beat is a check of the seven day forecast. You've been listening to The Night Beat. Watch, listen, and stream on the 1011 app on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.